I think that's either flying J or pilot. Oh, okay. Off okay. of the uh, five. Uh huh. Okay. Well, sometimes you know, sometimes flying J and pilots usually don't don't bother you. I mean, they they usually don't. I mean, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, go ahead and finish. Um. Well, they actually didn't bother me. I'm. I gave myself up. Uh, <laughs> went in there and made an issue because I'm like scared. Because my first thought was like, who still semis with the trailer? Mm-hmm. And um, some said just go ask the manager to see if he got told. So I asked, and he said, uh, we tow vehicles, but we don't mess with trucks. So I'm just like, well, how do a whole truck disappear off your lot? Like, I was really making an issue with them. Mm -hmm. And it was like, man, we really don't do that. And so I'm like, well, what the heck? So I call, uh, they told me to call the police. Right. And the police told me because the truck was actually still in Super Ego's name, I couldn't make a report that they had to make the report. Okay. So I called Super Ego, and they're like, oh, let us locate the truck, and we'll give you a call back. Okay. Man, these people were not trying to call me back. They hesitant. And I'm like, paranoid. I keep calling them back like, yo, where's the truck at? Like, because I don't want to be reliable for something that I didn't know somebody could steal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, uh, this happened on a Friday. So the following Monday, I called Super Ego back. Come to find out, they came and got the truck. It, 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 it took them to Monday to tell you that? And actually, nobody was trying to call me back. I kept calling all day, like literally calling them, emailing them. Like, where is the truck at? Nah, you know what? That That's some bullshit right there. That's yeah. that's some bullshit right there. Now, it, a good thing is that you know that it didn't you know that the uh, you know Flying J didn't tow your truck and all like that. Um, I think if that was the case, I think Super Ego, at least I think th- they would have at least called you to let you know, hey, uh, your truck is up at uh up at Flying J and they about to tow it. You need to get up there mm-hmm. ASAP and move it. Because like mm-hmm. if anything happens, like anything happens to my truck, like like a few times, like when I drove for US Express and I parked up at the uh I parked up where did I park? I, I parked at this little shopping center down on 152nd. And mm-hmm. I got a call. I you know, I, I, I got a call from US Express telling me that yeah, somebody, uh, somebody said I need to come down there and I need to move the truck off the property, yada, yada, yada. Okay, no problem, cool. Go down there, steal there, boom, move it. I worked at J&R Schwugel, and I got a boot on the truck. And I got a phone call from them. Wow. Hey, uh, hey, Sean, where you where you at? Um, I'm inside uh, Planet Fitness getting my workout on. Hey, you might want to go outside. Somebody put a boot on the truck. And and mm. and in and, and situations like this, they they didn't bother to give you a heads up call or anything like that. They just they just came and got the truck. And let me also call bullshit on this too. They know <laughs> where they everybody everybody knows where their trucks is at. Period. Exactly. My, my company <laughs> that I drive for, my company that I drive for. Shout out to my company. But my dude knows where his trucks at. 24 fucking 7 he could tell Mm -hmm. you he could tell you where you been how long you been there (laughs) and and everything he could tell you exactly if you're he could he can i he can he can type in lockout men's truck tut 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 boom there he is he's on i-80 right now doing 65 miles an hour and he should be in. He should be at his spot in about at about two o'clock or something like that. Yo, mm-hmm. yo, come on now. Mm-hmm. He, I mm-hmm. mean, they know they know where they trucks is that. Mm-hmm. You mean to tell me? You mean to tell me Monday? I find out that you guys came and took the truck. Y'all couldn't tell me. Y'all couldn't give me a heads up on a fucking Thursday night or a month or a Friday exactly. morning. 
And I still have my belongings on there. So what if you didn't even bother to go and check on the truck until you would have went out Monday? You st- you would have been asked out until whenever they decide to call you to let you know that they took the truck. I wouldn't actually. I wouldn't never. If I wouldn't have went that Friday, I would because I didn't have no plans to go check on it until I, you know, it's time to get back on the road, which right. is almost in August. So if I went and went that Friday, it would, I would have really never known until it was time for me to return back to work. Wow. But of so, course, I'm going to go check back on it just to make sure because I don't know the rules of, you know, it's staying part like that at Flying J. But yeah. Wow. Well, uh, OK. Mm-hmm. Uh, OK. So Monday you find out they had mm-hmm. somebody to come out there, uh, get the truck. Why? What was their explanation of of them coming to get the truck? And they mind, said because and, I was oh, oh, be- and, and mind mm-hmm. you, this is a truck that you put a down payment on. So this is a truck that you was leasing. Why did they come and get the truck? They said I would be uh I would be behind in payments because I'm gonna be home too long. But let me, <laughs> mm. but it's not possible because uh, ever since uh, November of 2020, because I started August of 2020, mm-hmm. I've been making double payments since November 2020. Mm. Uh, the payments is $650 a week. Mm. So I've been doubling that every week. So I was paying 5200 a month. Mm. I was already 43000 uh, I just rounded forty four thousand in payments into the truck. The truck itself is one hundred and sixty nine thousand. So I was almost done, mm. and I only worked. I, I've been with them for a year. So you August smart move on you for for figuring that out because you knew you was going to be out for you know that little bit of time. So you started making double payments, so you won't even have to worry about being behind when you got back exactly. on the road mm. and and they expl- and, and, and they explanation and they explanation was that you was going to be behind when you got back yes and- <laughs> so who who in the hell who who in the hell is doing the financing hold on right quick Hold on. No problem. <laughs> Who in the hell is is handling the financing that they couldn't see that? That you I, was already I, I, that you was already <laughs> deep. You was already in the red, not not in the not in the red. What is red? But you was already in the black uh <laughs> for the for for the truck for the enough time that you was taking off. Who didn't see that? I was deep in that black deep. Mm-hmm. So okay, so you on the phone with them Monday. You find out that they came. You in California, they in Illinois. So mm-hmm. you, um, your stuff was in the truck as well. So they didn't even bother mm-hmm. to call you to let you know uh, that hey, you know, we're about to come and get the truck because yada yada yada. You know, uh, meet us up at the up at the truck stop and 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 get the uh, you know come and get your stuff out or whatever, whatever or whatever that we need to talk about when you coming back on or anything like that. They didn't they didn't do none of that. All right, nothing. All right, so you on the phone with a Monday? What's what's the conversation? Mm-hmm. What's the conversation now on Monday? What's what's going on? They were actually giving me the run around, telling me I needed to wait on my um, um, DM, which I don't know who it is because um, uh, they charged me when I concerned with that will alignment. They charged me to, uh, for that after they told me I wasn't going to be charged because I, it happened within a week. Mm-hmm. Um, so the DM at that time 
when I go there in person, he's hiding, running around in the building, so I can't find him. So I don't know who my DM is. Mm -hmm. So I had to keep emailing and calling all day to get somebody to respond to me concerning what what happened with the truck and why and how I'm gonna get my belongings. Mm -hmm. So so um, where so so where are you at? You you still in Cali at the time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. They giving you the bullshit. They giving you the runaround and all like that. What? What happened? What? What happened now? What? 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 What was the outcome? Um, uh, I just wrote them a letter letting them know that I reside um, due to the fact of not being informed they were coming to get the truck. Mm -hmm. um, they put me in a financial um, bind. Right. Um, I asked them to return all of my belongings. I wanted all of my payments towards the truck. I wanted my escrow back. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, you know, just requested whatever was on my truck and things like that. Right. Um, me saying that they don't uh, mail out um, our belongings and uh, any payments made towards the truck is considered rental. They called you back and they 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 tell you that they they wasn't going to give you your money back or anything like that because all the money that you paid into the truck went into the truck pretty much. Yeah, it, this through, uh, we emailing back and forth concerning it because I um, what happened is is that I contacted a lawyer here in uh, California to figure out what I can do since they're in Illinois and I'm here, mm -hmm. and he's the one pointed out in my contract that it states that do do point or Cook County has jurisdiction. You know, Illinois has jurisdiction over the contract, so I had to find a lawyer there. Right. So. Um, in the contract, it states that, uh, um, that the only reason why they could take the truck is like if you miss payments, but they still got to give you like a certain amount of days to catch up. Right. Um, if they, uh, find out like the truck is like, uh, being neglected, not clean, not, you know, not staying up to par. Um, but my situation, they didn't have, there's no reason within the contract for them to have did what they did. So, right. Because you, um, was, making, was, you, you was making double payments. You was making Correct. double payments. You was making them on time and all like that. Correct. And you, you know, you told it. And again, like I said, whoever's doing the finance, how the fuck they could not figure out that you was making double payments into the truck. Correct. Correct. And um, I also had escrow with them, which you got to put 2500 Right. Um, in, out, um, out of your paycheck, you like, like the first couple of weeks or however. So I had that also. When I asked for that back, they told me for fees. And I'm like, well, can I get a receipt of that? They didn't send me. I don't even have a receipt of what fees they're talking about. So they didn't show me, like, they didn't send me no proof of, of anything so i asked them so basically i got robbed they robbed me that's how i feel about that mm. super and um see this um, this, so this this is what this <laughs> this this is and I, I you know i appreciate you shakia coming on here uh you know uh telling your story because you know this is the information that 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 people need to know I mean, I know this is yeah. just, I know this is just her experience and this is just one, but maybe this might be one of many, you know, that these companies like Super Ego is doing to these, to these drivers out here, you know, pretty much bankrupting them, you know, just, just to, just to satisfy their own narrative, you know? Yes. Yeah. So, you know, and nobody, nobody knows about it. Then you got, you know, then you got me lockout men, you know, calling up these companies and getting this information. And you, you know, you got, you got guys like me that, that'll call the, the company to get, you know, to get the information or whatever. And then you got like a recruiter that comes on that's telling you, oh yeah, we're this. And you know, we, you can make money with us and you know, we'll do this, that and the third for you and all like that. And, you know, and, and 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 so forth and so on. 
But then, you know, you never get a chance to talk to uh, a person that actually drove for the company or a person that uh, that drives for the company to come in to debunk what you coming on. I appreciate you sharing your story. Um, so, of course, you have to get a lawyer. Uh, so did you get a lawyer here? I mean, here in Illinois or what's, what's the status? What's the status now? That's why I contacted your show because, uh, when, the, when the situation occurred and the lawyer here in California told me what I actually need to do, I started reaching out to multiple lawyers in the Illinois area, even lawyers that deal with, uh, tenants that reside in Illinois due to not having finances to afford a lawyer. Um, I have been getting a runaround. A lot of these lawyers do not want to actually hear from you. Um, or they're over talking you when you're trying to explain what happened because a lot of them feel they're not going to win. So a friend suggested that I do a class action lawsuit. And I was like, no, because I want all of my money. You you know, I want everything that I gave these people. So I said, let me stop being selfish because I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. I watch videos mm -hmm. uh, of other people that actually has went through things with this same company. Mm -hmm. I might not get everything that I want out of it. Um, and, and, and I hate to sound like I'm being evil, but this company to me really needs to like be shut down or whatever may happen. Cause I know all they may do is, you know, shut that part down, open up another part. Cause, mm -hmm. um, another lawyer was telling me that's what they basically do. Yeah. This, you um, know, black ops companies are good for that. They're, they're, you know, they're shut, they're shut it down. You know, they're they're past they're past the ownership over to their to their nephew, cousin, mother, father, brother, and all like that. And you know, it, it's still it and, and still being run by the same guy. You know. Right. So yeah, today they probably might be called super ego today, and then tomorrow they'll probably might be they'll probably might be uh called, you know, turn up tomorrow, you know. Right. Turn, turn up trucking and it'd be like mm -hmm. yeah, how, how can you sound so familiar oh i i do yeah yeah you do so <laughs> you sound just like the you sound just like the guy that mm -hmm. owns super ego super ego mm -hmm. oh you're talking about the company that's <laughs> out in out in illinois yeah bro mm -hmm. kind of funny yeah i don't know who you're talking about yeah right oh okay next <laughs> um yep so you 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 getting the runaround from 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 all these lawyers uh now you now you just said you just said bump it and now you you're just settling for uh a class action lawsuit um are you uh are you in are you in a contact with a lawyer that can handle such a lawsuit or have you have you reached out to any other drivers that that was in a similar situation as you and you you know you kind of like got their support as far as going after the company um i uh um the more videos i watched why like I, I reached out to a gentleman today waiting for his response. Um, the more I go on YouTube, I'm just, you know, asking people, hey, how can I contact you? I have people that I brought on to the company. Actually, I'm waiting for them to call. Um, so I'm, that's why I contacted your um, podcast because I really need help and um, and I want to help others. I'm, you know, putting my pride to the side for my situation. Um, but I don't want it to happen to other people. I mean, uh, people can do whatever they feel like within their means. Um, yes, you can make money with the company, but my my type of situation, I feel that, you know, it's jacked up that um, if I went back to the company, you know, now I got to start all over and, mm -hmm. you know, and I didn't feel the need for that because I, I shouldn't have never been put in that situation. So if it helps someone else, 
because some, I learned when it comes to uh, these companies, not just trucking, but any any uh, company out here, a lot of people are afraid to stand up for themselves. Um, go ahead and do your best to sue because what I learned when I did with CR England, any evidence that you bring to the table has to stay on file. Mm -hmm. So the more complaints made on these companies, it helps other people that uh, put the foot forward to sue these companies to, to stop a lot of the what's going on. Uh, Swift was a big example of that. You know, that was a 10 year case. Mm -hmm. So the more people that come forward, put evidence on the table against these companies to stop a lot of these things. So I just feel that me doing this, even if I don't win, that's how I felt. It's the point if somebody else come along and they're able to win, then I I'm happy. And sometimes you can retry a case just because uh, a previous case won under the same premises. So I'm doing this to help others that come along, not just with super ego, because they're not the only ones doing it, but uh, other multiple companies that are putting a lot of us drivers in financial debt. That's what's up. That's what's up, so, man. Shakia, yeah. thank you very much. Um, I hope uh, I, I, I hope this reaches uh, a, you know, a lot of people that's that's in a similar situation as you uh hope it reach a lot of people that's interested in the going into super ego that they might not be the company for you uh please I, don't go <laughs> i mean they just base i mean they just basically bankrupt you and for yeah for no for for no reason and and yeah and and you getting all this runaround and all like that is really not is really not necessary. I think yeah, I think you got the proof. You show that you put, you know, you put in the put in the money. You you know, you got receipts on your end. I, I don't understand why a lawyer wouldn't even, you know, why a regular lawyer wouldn't even take on your case. But you're exactly right. You know, some lawyers get this, you know, get this cockiness of, you know, talking down to you, talking over you and all like that simply because they don't think they can win the case and they don't they mm -hmm. they don't even want to fucking try you know mm -hmm. oh well you know they did that to you you might as well just take that L well wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> how are you going to tell me you take the L you ain't even you ain't even take the case bro you you ain't yep. even try didn't even try you ain't even that's why I was kind of so Mm -hmm. You you ain't even you ain't even try, you know. I mean, I know that I know this one guy paid a lawyer, uh, you know, his retainer fee, and you know, during the pandemic last year, you know, that was understandable why it, why it kept getting pushed, why it kept getting pushed. But then when it came time to you know came time to come down to everything, everything y'all everything y'all talked about. In the, you know, in the consultation back and forth over the phone and all like that didn't even come to fruition. And the dude still took the still took the charge. So mm. I'm over here like, bro, what happened? He was like, yo, I I still took the charge, man. Like they they, wow. they didn't give you no deal. It was. It was it, it was supposed to be a deal, he said. It was mm -hmm. supposed to be a deal, but the prosecutor pulled pulled the deal out. So when mm -hmm. he said when we went to court, I was not with the initial attorney that I was talking to on the phone, but one of his associates, and she was like on some other shit talking about well. I'm not going to be able to be here. You're going to have to pay me more money to come and yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm sitting here like looking, listening, looking at her like, what the? F <sighs> so he said the judge came back, you know, he came back to the judge and he told the judge, he was like, look, man, I'm tired. Um, I'm not trying to come back and forth. I'm a truck driver. You know, I'm, you know, the whole point, of me even getting this lawyer, that's you know, that's what he told the judge in front of her. 
the whole point of me getting this lawyer is for her to work on my behalf. So I won't even be here. I was under the impression that we was going to make a, we was going to make a deal. The whole thing is I just didn't want, I it's, it's not about me not paying, uh, not paying anything. It's about me not having to having a points on my license. That's, that's what it's all about. But mm -hmm. You know, the judge, you know, he, he said the judge asked him, like, okay, well, uh, what y'all want to do? Y'all y'all want to reschedule? He was like, no, nah, judge, let's go ahead and get this taken care of today. And the judge was like, so you want to change your plea from not guilty to guilty? He was like, yeah, fuck it, man. And uh, the we judge. We don't have no help. All, all they see is dollar signs yeah. when we walk in through doors. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what it is. That's what I told him. That's exactly what it was. You know, you, I said, how much you paid this man? He was like, I paid this dude $2,000 for mm -hmm. a retainer. And I mm -hmm. said, I said, did you get any of that money? I said, did you get any of that money back? He was like, no, no. because uh, <laughs> it was all about it, it was about, it, it, even when they're on the phone with you, they charge you. Yep. They, they charge you when you are on the phone, even even talking to him for a minute or two. They charge you at least mm -hmm. about a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars, bro. I was like Stampin ain't easy. I said, fuck. <laughs> I said, we listen here. I said, we we getting fucked left and right in the trucking industry. We in the wrong business, bro. <laughs> we in the wrong yeah, business. We, yeah, and but then don't nobody but everybody wants their groceries, everybody wanna wipe their ass, everybody mm -hmm. wants fuel, everybody wants something, but when when we need help, ain't nobody that is what's up. <laughs> and and riding down these highways, you, you see more and more of these motherfucking fucked up billboards. Been in the truck accident? Call the hammer. Bro, you <laughs> you fucking advocating for somebody to cut us off and, and, and get rear ended. <laughs> the fuck? Go somewhere with that, man. Shakia, man. Or these. Oh, go yeah. ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. What no, you was about to say? I was going to say these new incidents where uh, drivers feel comfortable opening doors, punching, or shooting out windows and things <sighs> like that. Man, that shit crazy. It is. <laughs> man. Shakira, yeah. man. Well, thank you very much for coming on and uh and, and sharing your story with us. I hope this uh I hope this resonates with uh with a few people that's that that wanted to come out uh that's in a similar sim situation as you that will come out and uh and join your fight, your crusade against uh Super Eagle. Uh hopefully uh this may change uh people's minds about even going with Super Eagle. <laughs> you know definitely uh definitely check their reviews uh you know do your due diligence as far as with any company not just with super eagle with, but with just any company so you can make sure that you won't get into no messed up situation like uh like sakia's man because that that whole stuff right there was just bullshit they 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 came and I mean, when you get mm -hmm. when when you get robbed and shit, and you you take that shit to court, you supposed to get some type of judge justice, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got motherfuckers, you got motherfuckers Walmart over here taking people to court for fucking candy bars and shit. I, I can't, <laughs> I I can't take I I can't take you to court because you you robbed me out of out of thousands. And and the lawyer is is I, I'm having a hard time to get a lawyer to do that. Uh uh man, come on. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. well definitely, yo. What? Um, I always tell people that they are a citizen, which you are. You know what I'm saying? But definitely keep me posted. I mean, keep me keep me up along the way. Um. You know, let me know, uh, you know, the situation, because I, I know this is going to be an ongoing fight for you and all like that. Um, now that Super Ego is in the midst of all of that, how has how has this affected you getting another trucking job? If any. Um. Well, actually, well, it, the only part it has done is financially. Um. Uh, it's put me in a financial bind. Um, I have 
uh, I was smart enough to, you know, uh, sacrifice entertainment to stack. And so what I did, I moved forward to get my own truck. That's what's up. Um, and lease on to a company so I can hurry up and fi- put myself back financially uh, healthy mm-hmm. um, until I can, you know, do what I need to do to get them out the way. Yeah. All right. So that's 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 what you're doing now. That's what you're in the process of doing now. Or you already? Um, actually, or, I have. You my, already yeah, I've it. already started. Uh huh. All right. So you already mm-hmm. have your truck. All right. So you uh, so you went you went to a dealership and financed the truck. Um, I went to Arrow's Truck and Sales. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Well, mm-hmm. more power to you. Um. I'm damn sure hate to see this that this happened to you. Uh, unfortunately, awesome. unfortunately, you 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 did everything right though. I mean, you know, you you sacrificed, you grind, you saved. You know, you was you you was at least in a position to turn around and say, "Hey, I can still get myself up out of it." You know, get myself up, even though I'm in a financial bind. I'm able to, you know, get myself right to get myself out of this bind. So, more power to you, man. That's that's what's up. Congratulations Thank on your you new so truck. Uh, much success for you out of that. And keep me posted along the way um, of of what's going on between uh, you and Super Ego and 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 um, and your and your crusade crusade crusade. To at least get some of your money back, if not all of it. Will do. All right. I appreciate you very much, ma'am. Thank you. I'm, and, grateful. Uh, I'm grateful for you. Oh, but well, thank you. Any, like I said, anytime you want to, you you got the number, you got the contact. So anytime you want to talk to me, on, off air, uh, in air, out air, whatever <laughs> air you you. You got the number. Just reach out to me, and I'll make myself available to you. Will do. All right. You take it easy. Stay safe, and uh, and and yeah, keep your head up, man. Keep your head up. I I think I think it's I, I think uh, it's gonna make a turn for you. It might not it might not happen now, but eventually it will. If if you get if you if Correct. you if you holler loud enough. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right. I'm gone. You take it easy. easy also. All mm-hmm. right. You take it easy and I'll holler back at you in a minute. All right, Saudi. All right.